It's time for Joe Gordon to go home. His trip to Thailand, the country of his birth, was supposed to be for medical treatment and to get over the death of his wife. It turned into a holiday from hell. 2007, I was a salesman in Colorado. Okay. For the last 30 years, Mr. Gordon has lived in the United States and has become an American citizen. Five years ago, he posted links on an internet site that showed Thai readers where to find extracts from a controversial and critical biography of their king. I think it's a, it's a good book. The world's longest serving monarch, King Pumipon, has been on the throne for 66 years and is seen by many Thais as semi-divine. Anyone who insults him or his family can be prosecuted under controversial Les Majesté laws which carry the penalty of up to 15 years in jail. Much to Mr. Gordon's surprise, the Thai authorities had been monitoring his activity online and he was arrested in Bangkok. In court, he pleaded guilty to Les Majesté, he says to get a reduced sentence of two and a half years. After seven months sharing a prison cell with 50 inmates, some doing time for rape and murder, Mr. Gordon was granted a royal pardon and released, still fuming at the law which sent him there. It's an obsolete law. We live in the 21st century. You use the 18th century laws. Even the Les Majesty is French. You know, even in France, they don't use this anymore. Thailand had to learn to have a thick skin. There had been some expectation that the current government of Yingluck Shinawat would try and change this law, particularly as many of her supporters had been prosecuted under it. But in fact, the last year has seen Les Majeste cases pursued with increased vigour, with particular focus on internet users. Supporters of the law say it's needed to preserve the special relationship between the Thai monarchy and the state. The monarchy and the nation are linked, so if you say something that insults the king, that's the same as harming the nation. In a way, Les Majeste is similar to counter-terrorism laws in the United States. Angry and disillusioned, Joe Gordon is returning to America to try and rebuild his life. He has no plans to return to Thailand. Jonah Fisher, BBC News, Bangkok.